Shalom Shalom Lekulchem. I'll be reading from Bereshith Perek Yod Pasuk Kaf Aleph. That's um, Genesis chapter 10, verse 21. And again, I'll be reading classical or um, biblical Hebrew first and then modern. Ulshem Yulad Gamhu Avi Kol Bene Ever Ahi Yefeth Haggazol. Beneshem Elam wa Ashur wa Arpachshad wa Lud wa Aram Uvne Aram Us wa Hul wa Rether wa Mash wa Arpachshad Yaladeth Shalah wa Shelah Yaladeth Ever Ul Ever Yulad Shenevanim Shem Ha Ehad Peleg Ki Veyamao Niflera Ha Aris Wa Shem Ahu Yoktan Wa Yoktan Yaladeth Armodad with Shalef, with Hasarma, with with Yarah, with Hazoram, with Uzal, with Dikla, with Oval, with Avimael, with Sheva, with Ophir, with Havila, with Yovav, Kol El Bene Yochtan, Wajihi Moshavam Mim Mesha Boacha Sefara Har Hakedem, El Bene Shem Le Mishpechotham Lil Shonotham. Be'ar sotham le'oya hem. Ele mishpechoth bene noah le'sol zotham be'goya hem. Ume ele nifrezu hat goyim ba'ar sahar ha'mabul. Ul shem shehu ahyu shel yefeth ha'bekor. Wa'avihem shel ha'kol bene ever. Gam lo noledzu banim. Wa'ele bene shem elam wa'ashur Wa arpachshad, wa lud, wa aram. Wa ele bene aram. Us, wa hul, wa reser, u mash. Wa arpachshad holideth shelah, wa shelah holideth ever. Ul ever no lezu shenebanim. Shem ha ehad peler. Ki be yamao his palera his halecha ha aris. Wa shem ahu yoktan. Wa yoktan holideth al modad. We is Shelef, we is Hasarmawith, we is Yerah, we is Hazoram, we is Uzal, we is Dikla, we is Oval, we is Avimael, we is Sheva, we is Ophil, we is Hawila, we is Yovav, Kol Ele Bene Yochtan, Shetach is Yashevutham, Yishtareya Mimasha, Bekiyun Sefar, Shealhar Hakedem, Ele Bene Shem, Lefi mishpehothehem, ulshonothehem, lefi arsothehem, we ammehem. Ele mishpehoth bene noah, we ha ammim shenoledzu mehem. Me ele no seru ha ammim ha shonim baareth, le ahar ha mabul. Now I wanted to point out a difference in modern and biblical Hebrew. Now you might have noticed a change in pronunciation or um, accent in the way how I said certain names, right? So here it says Yalad et Shalah Shelah. Now Shalah here, if I get this correct, Shalah here. It is actually Shela, the name Shela. Shala is the pausal form. It's for either emphasis or to state that there is a um, like a comma in Hebrew, biblical Hebrew. Because biblical Hebrew didn't have any type of punctuation, so this would indicate that there is a comma, a pause, or an end to a sentence or phrase. That's why usually you see it in the middle or towards the end or at the end, okay? So, ever, right here, this would be aver. Instead of ever, it'll be aver, okay? And it's for emphasis as well. So, you see here on the modern side, you see shela and you see shela again. Over here, you see shala and then you see Shela. Same thing when you see Yefeth and you see Yafeth. It's all for emphasis, all for pausing, all for um, storytelling. 
Okay, and for punctuation. Shalom, shalom. <laughs>